All right. Good evening, all. Good evening, all. We're in uh, going to do a how to video tonight. First off, I just want to say that Boulders Gate 3 dropped their patch number seven, which toasted a lot of people's games that um, people that were using mods, myself included. So this is strictly for patch seven, patch six. Not even going to discuss patch number six and how to do what you need to do to roll back on that. It doesn't work anyway most of the time. So this is strictly going to be about patch 7 and how to get back into your saved games in Boulder's Gate 3. So you can at least progress from where you left off from patch 6. But first off, a couple of shout-outs to people that helped to come up with a solution. Uh... First off, a guy from Nexus Mods, uh, Melin12137, M-E-L-I-N-12137. He's the one that came up with the written instructions, and I'm just the one putting voice to the written instructions, his written instructions. So I give him credit for what I'm about to demonstrate and show. So this is his. And then another person that I have to give a shout out is to my friend, Mona underscore TTV. He has been very helpful in getting mods and stuff working over the past week since the patch dropped. She's been helping me out a lot. So kudos, thumbs up. Thank you. Go check her out. She's on YouTube and she is on Twitch. So M. O-O-N-A underscore T-T-V. Go check her out and give her some love. She's been a, she's been very helpful and she's very nice. So, but let's get on with the show. So first thing you're going to want to do is grab the latest Boulders Gate 3 mod manager. And let me give you a little bit of background. So for the past week, I've been going through my mods and this is very important. Find the mods that are causing a problem for you. And what I had to do for that is start a new game inside of Boulders Gate 3 on patch number 7. Okay, and then you just simply go through 5 to 10 mods at a time and find out which ones are the problem child and get rid of them. And then you save your order and stuff like that to um, the game file. And then you can hit the refresh and see if it's going to take. Like, for example, these are all mods that I've been working on for a week now to clean them up, and I've got a nice clean list. Some mods still aren't working. So what you're going to do is once you got your list and you know it's working well, you're going to want to go here and export the order to the game, like so. Okay. And then you're going to want to hit refresh. Boom. The mods that are here have stayed here. The ones over here have stayed here too, which means is you got a good list and you, you have to be at this level for patch seven. Okay. Since I know this is a good list, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this file, save this order, uh, save order as, as you can see, I've been working on it quite a bit and you're going to want to keep an eye on this date. This is important because you're going to be using this later. Okay. So you're going to save that. So your order is saved. So you know everything's working. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is you can, you're going to want to exit out of this. Okay. And then you're going to want to bring up File Explorer here. I've already got one window open. Get rid of that cat here. And then one. You're going to want to add a new tab to this. So you got one open, add a second tab, a third tab, and a fourth tab. Okay. This is going to help you stay organized. So now what we're going to want to do, don't, don't even go into Boulders Gate 3 yet. And remember, like I said, you've already started a new game out, a new save, and you've cleaned out your, your dirty mods, your bad mods. So you've already got a nice, clean mod list that you know what works okay and you're going to export that to the game and you're going to save your order as all right so now the second part here is you're going to come over here and i'm following this guy's direction so we're going to want to uninstall all the mods completely 
in the mods folder in the, and also in the bin folder. So I'm going to go there. So you're going to go here. You're going to go here and you're going to go to your app data. You're going to go to local. And then you're going to find Larian Studios. Folders gate three. Mods. See, this is a nice clean list. All right. So we know all these work. So what you can do here is I've already done this and I've already set it up. I've created a folder called working mods. Okay. And the, this has all my working mods, all the mods that work in it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Okay. To this app data local. Uh, Larian Studios. Okay. Go to my mod folder. I'm going to select all of these. Okay. And the fastest way to do that is to hold down the control key on your keyboard and press A. And you're going to copy all these out just like that. You can release control A after you've got them all highlighted. You're, you're going to do a copy. Okay. Now you can come back over here to your desktop, you know, go into this folder. I'm actually going to go ahead and create a new folder just to show you guys. Otherwise, the mods are going to get copied over in that working folder. So I'm going to go here and paste. Just like that. So I know all these mods are good, they're working, and I don't want to lose these. So we're done with that. So now we can go ahead and close that, open up a new one. Now we're going to go back here to this tab, go back into users, your username, not my username, local. Let's see. And find Larian Studios and mods. Right click, delete, gone. So we're going to want to keep that folder open. We're going to go over here now. And we are going to go to C colon program files 36, x36. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Folders Gate 3, and we're going to want to double check that. Yep, okay, so there's stuff in there, no problem. We're going to whack that, delete it, delete the bin folder, okay. And then what we're going to want to do now is go over here again, go back to C colon on our new tab, local files, users, app data, <clears throat> excuse me, local, Larian Studios, Boulders Gate 3, Player Profiles, Public. And this is our problem child. They've changed the settings inside of this particular folder and everything, this, this particular file, not folder, file. So, and I can show you that. We're gonna open it. Let me uh, drag this over. Okay, so this is where all your mod settings sit. Okay. And this is the problem child. They've changed a lot of things around inside of here. So you can see where value equals 
pseudo Coceras, horns. This is the actual mod name, and this is all your load order and everything. Like, for example, if it's going to probably make me a liar, but Magic Mirror should be at the bottom of my load order. So this is your load order. <clears throat> so this here module short description just used to say mod. So they've changed a lot of things around inside of this particular file. So anyway, what we're going to do with this particular file is we're going to head close that and we're just going to delete it. We're going to whack it just like that. Okay. So right now the game is completely broken. It will not launch whatsoever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this open. Don't actually need that extra tab. And just making sure I followed all the steps. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the game up. We're going to launch it. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and right click on this properties. Okay. And we're deliberately deleting files out of the game. But first, what I'm going to do before we even go there, empty your recycle bin. The recycle bin is where all the garbage is. That's where you get rid of all your shit. So just get rid of this stuff, empty recycle bin. That way, you know, there's not going to be any cross contamination whatsoever. Just get rid of it, empty it. All right. So just to go over everything, step one, if you've been working on your mods all week long, you, you have a new save game going, you've got the mods that are compatible with patch seven. Copy those mods out, okay? Then once you got your load order correct, save it, export it to the game, then do a save as order and save the order. So I'll show you what's going to go on with that later. So do not, do not hit play. The game will tank and it will crash. And then you're going to have other problems. So you're going to right click properties, installed files, and then you're going to want to hit verify integrity of game files. Boom. And this is going to take some time. And um, I do have to warn you, your characters will have no clothes on when you get back into the game. And just before warned, um, it's just one of those things. So this is at 5%, and we're just going to watch this and, and just let it go. And it should come back with 11 or 12 files are missing. And it's and the, it'll come back with acquired new files. So, and this could take some time. So you got to be patient. But this is probably going to be the quiet part of the video because this probably takes about 10, 15 minutes, depending on your speed of your computer and stuff like that. But I, I just wanted to get this out. And like I said, a shout out and, and all credit, 100% credit goes to this guy, Melin, M-E-L-I-N-12137 on Nexus Mods. He, he gets so many kudos and stuff like that just to get me back into uh, where I was at two weeks ago, where we were in Act 3, Closing act, closing down Act Three, closing it up, loose ends, just to get back there and not have to start the whole entire thing over again. And also, I want to give another shout out to my friend uh, Mona. She she's she's just awesome for for taking the time to you know help me with the list and uh, work through mods and validate mods that are working and ones that aren't. And you know, I had no idea that. Uh, you know, Medusa eyes don't play well with eyes of the beholder mod. So I chose the Medusa eyes, you know, upon her selection, on her suggestion. So thank you, Mona. Appreciate it. And uh, like I said, this is strictly patch seven, how to get back to your progress in the game. And once you're back into the game, and like I said, I have multiple campaigns going but once you're back in 
that point, you can load up your previous campaign saved game. Let's say you got five of them. You can load up your last save game and you can do a new save on that. And I'm going to show you that. But like I said, your tunes, your characters are going to have no clothes. <laughs> so to me, that that is just a small price to pay for, for being able to get back into um, the game and being able to progress. Forty seven percent. So this is going to be a how to video, I think. Just kind of going to wonder how I'm going to have to tag the video with with, you know. You know, adult content, because your tunes literally do show up with no clothes on and. Uh, yeah. Um, so. Do this process uh, with no kids around, and this process is definitely not safe for work. Not, 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 not safe for work. So, um, yeah, don't get in trouble. Just make sure, you know, like I said, your tunes will show up with no clothes on, which, for me, okay, you know. But this, uh, yeah, patch seven has definitely caused a lot of issues with um, mods and stuff like that. I just think some of the mods are not going to ever be updated and it's just going to be, you know, you're going to be without them. So... But this is the third run through I've done on this just to make sure it works and I don't look like a uh, fool in front of everybody, but uh, it's not the first time. So I just uh, hope that Larry can get the stuff sorted out and situated because several times over the past week they've had to take down their server to do updates and stuff and every time it's come back up their their built-in mod manager in-game mod manager has been updated so yeah we'll we'll just see what happens but um I'll show you so you're basically cleaning out all your mods your cleaning out that mod settings file so you're not going to have anything like i said first step for me mona and i we've been working on cleaning up our mods on a fresh save game to make sure that they load up and i think i ended up dumping close to 45 maybe 50 mods that i just wasn't using anymore so uh, i've cut that down quite a bit and um i have a I have good mods that are up to date. I've got a good load order and things should load up fine. But that's that's for later. So we're here at 94%. And like right now, so far this is probably about a, you know, half hour process. But this guy's instructions are really good. I'll post those below in the description also. Um I just happened to be on step five already in, from his instructions. And uh, I've been working on step five and step four, four and five the past week. So I'm already there. But the important part is with cleaning out your mods and uh, getting good ones in place. See, 11 files fail to validate and will be reacquired. Cool. All right. So now we are good to go to launch the game. And let's see, we can go back to player profiles, public, and there's nothing here right now for the uh, mod settings. So this is good. All right, let's go back to play.
There we go. So this will be like the fourth time I've done this. And um, just follow through the video. I know sometimes I talk quick, and that's why I want to do a video. You can just pause it and re rewind it, and you can you can hear me talk about it again. So this is good. We got the 100%. So that's good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head, go ahead and load one of my previous save games. And as you can see, I have a lot of characters. Okay, yeah, so you can see from here that they have their old costumes and old add-ons and everything. So I'm trying to find an add-on that's not gonna get me in too much trouble. So. Well. Okay, I think this will be fine. Yeah, so we're just gonna see the back half of her. So we're gonna load the game. Don't worry about all this, okay? Don't worry about this because it, we have no mods loaded and this will cause the game to fail out and then you're gonna have a problem. So just leave that blank and we're gonna go ahead and start game. This, do not worry about, uh, ignore it and just click yes. So ignore this. <clears throat> and now we're gonna watch this down here and it should go from 75 to like 83. Okay, that's good, we had a little stutter which means it's loading its stuff up and it's at a hundred percent. Boom, we're back in the game. And as I said, she's not gonna have anything on her whatsoever. Okay, everything's gonna be gone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly Put some clothes on her so I don't get banned on YouTube. All right, so you can see now that uh, she's just got the default, you know, outfit and stuff like that, default hair, default, you know, figure and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a, a save. if I remember which character I'm on. So. So as you can see, I've progressed this character pretty far in the game and I really didn't want to lose the content in my progression. And... Um, we're going to hit new save. Saved. T 
Nancy Pomnu is her name. So let me make sure I write that down. So I will forget. It sucks getting old, guys. So. All right. So we got her name down. She's got some type of clothing on her so we don't get in trouble, at least for me, with YouTube and get a strike on my account. So what we're going to do is we're just going to straight out quit game because we've got a good save file. Quit. Yes. Done. All right. So now we're going to go ahead. Launch our uh, mod manager. Let me bring that over here. So you can see everything is gone. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, and this is very important, you gotta do this order properly. You gotta do the order properly, otherwise you're, it's gonna screw up. So file, and you're gonna go import mod, okay? Desktop, working mods, you know, or I could use the mods out of here too, it doesn't matter, they're both, they're all the same. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to go hold down the control, the control key and hit A. Now you can release control. And it will import all the mods at once. You can highlight them all. Okay, then we're going to hit open. And now this is going to take some time because it's importing all that data and everything. And it's just going to be another hurry up and wait and watch the blue line go across the screen and watch paint dry. But uh, like I said, this is probably about a half hour process. But once you're back into your games, you can go through each campaign at that moment and create a new save. And what's nice about that is you don't have to continuously do this process over and over. It gets you back into all of your saved campaigns. And you can save a new game at that particular moment by loading your latest one on that particular campaign so essentially you only would have to do this once but this is my fourth time through this just to make sure that everything works and everything is, is proper before i would do a video and look like a fool on the internet so there we go so all all the stuff has been imported Okay, so we have red marks here, which basically means it needs an updated script extender. So what we're gonna do, because the script extender is part of the files that we deleted. And what I like about this manager, tools, download and extract script extender. But before I do that, before you do that, import order from file. Boom, it automatically brings it up. Now I'm looking for a date that says current 912. Okay, 9899. I'm scrolling down. Boom. So September 12th, 2024 at 624 p.m. and 46 seconds. Gonna highlight that. Boom. Open. Nice. Okay. So now we still have this script extender issue. Simple. Tools, download and extract the script extender. Yes. Done. Everything's green on the cross the board. Everything looks good. Now what we're going to do is go here to file, export order to game. Done. That has modified the, save, the, the mod settings file. And we can actually go and look at that now. Open, and there you go. Our mod list has been populated. Okay, as you can see, Magic Mirror is still at the bottom, so that's good. So we know that this is good. And what we can also do is go back up here, Mod Order. Be very careful. Don't get clicky clicky happy. Just scroll up, one click, do a refresh. 
and the mod order should stick. So these are all my inactive mods, but the game still wants to read them for some reason. Not a developer, not a programmer, but I just leave them there. The game seems to be happy with it. So now we got a good mod order. Magic Mirror is always at the bottom. That's for your tattoos and stuff. All right, I like to do one more export order to game. Boom, done. We're going to go ahead and minimize that. We're going to bring that to the other monitor. I like to have it up because you can actually see the mods lo loading up and everything like that. And we're going to hit play. All right. Hit play again. So I know I'm going to get questions on this, but just watch the video. Um, I know sometimes I speak kind of fast, but just watch the video and watch what the mouse does. And since we're loading mods for the first time, it's got to import all that data. The script editor has got to do its thing. It's going to take a couple of minutes for this to load up. But we'll go back to Tipom New, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so it's at 50%. So with this patch seven, loading screens and stuff like that take forever to load up. So you just have to be patient with stuff. All right. There we go. This is going to take a few minutes to load up. And we just kind of uh, listen to the birds chirp and, you know, let the uh, game do its thing. Yes, this takes a while. So don't worry about it. It's doing its thing. It's just doing stuff in the background. All right, we're going to continue on to Palm New. This. You know, so we all have green check marks now. So don't worry about this. Um, just ignore it. Start game. Okay. Now it's going to slow down right around 75%. Or whatever. It's because it, it's just processing stuff. And... All right, you can see the thing is slowing down a little bit, which means it's good, it's 100%. And this is where people would usually get stuck. But here we are. We've received items, chest has been repopulated. And what we're gonna do, since she's encumbered, is she's got the original clothes, the basket, we're gonna send this to camp. Send to camp. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
Here goes nothing. Right? So good to have you back, Tapomnu. So mod ma so the magic mirror's working? We got the default heads. We got the additional heads. So we know our mods are working because we can see all this. She's got her default hairstyle back that I configured it with her. And you know, you can do what you need to. I mean, we could put her horns back on her. But she's pretty much gotten all of her default stats, not default stats, but uh, configuration. So. We'll, we'll put the nails on her. And uh, yeah, so our mods are working because we can add them to her and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So depending on, you know, what type of... Uh... So yeah, it's, it's looking good. So that we have our additional eye colors. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Uh, we have our tattoos. So, as you can see, stuff is working. There we go. It's the green channel. Nope. Blue channel. There we go. So unfortunately, some of the mods are just busted and broken and haven't been updated yet. And um at the ready. I don't know if they're going to get fixed or not. But as you can see, we have our uh Camp stuff in here now. We have our camp box with our clothes and all that stuff. Um, some of the physics on some of the clothes are is still kind of kind of beat up. So, um, we'll equip that. We'll equip that. But just like I said, be forewarned, uh, your characters will end up having no clothes once you do this uh, fix. So just be forewarned. Not safe for work at all. And let's see, she is a paladin warlock. So... Anyway, so basically that takes care of the issue of not being able to get back into any of your save games.
So what I like to do at this point is I'm going to save this. But you should only really need to do this process once because it'll allow you to get back into all of your saved campaigns. But if you're like me, who's got a ton of saved campaigns, yeah, this this kind of you'll have to unless you do unless you save new games and all your campaigns, you know, one time, you might have to do this a couple of times. So. wait for this to load but as you can see patch 7 takes a long time to do anything from the menu nowadays um, I should have hit F5 to do a quick save but at least this will get you back into the game back into your progress so I, I most of us players have already worked through all the bad mods and have a good save of those. So copy them out and save your order. And uh, then follow the process, follow the video. As you can see, it works. So I appreciate everybody that watches this. And like I said before, shout outs to Milin12137 again. M E L I N12137. All credit goes to him and my friend uh, Mona for helping getting everything back up and running. He, he did the hard work. I'm just providing a voice and a demo of it. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everybody that's contributed to solving Larian's issues. Greatly appreciate it. So on that note, I hope everybody has a good evening and have fun gaming. And I hope this fixes it for you. And like I said, related to patch seven only. So have a good evening and that's gonna be a wrap. <laughs>